In this video, I'm going to run you through the many options you have for dining on P&O's Arvia cruise ship and show you some sample menus and all of these are included in your fare. So let's get right into it. Ahoy there, I'm Captain Chris. I'm not a real captain, but I'm gonna tell you about all the places you can eat on Arvia without paying anything extra on top of your fare. Some are formal with a dress code and some are definitely not. So you can tailor your holiday to your own personal preferences. And if you or someone you're traveling with is a particularly hungry person who's afraid the portions just won't be big enough, I've got a great tip coming up for you at the end. So stay tuned for that. Now, it seems that the right place to start is with the two main restaurants. These are called Meridian and Zenith, and they're located at the back of the ship, one above the other, on deck six and seven, and they're connected by a staircase. They're both huge, and the only difference between them is that Zenith has tablecloths and Meridian doesn't. Breakfast is served from 7.30 until 9.30, and they serve fruit juice, yogurt, cereals, pastries, muesli, eggs, and loads of other things, and the full cooked breakfast. You don't have to choose just one thing, you can mix and match whatever you like, and there's tea and coffee as well, all at no extra cost. Remember, you can get Costa Coffee on board, but that costs extra. Lunch is served in Meridian only, and may include sandwiches and bagels, salads and sharers, and when we tried it, it seemed quiet and relaxed, less of a hubbub than some places. Dinner is the main event though, and remember there is a dress code here. Most nights it's just smart casual, but there's usually a couple of black tie evenings. Your Horizon magazine, delivered to your cabin each day, explains the dress code for that evening. The dinner menu has a chef's recommendation on the right, but of course you don't have to stick to that. Every night there's steak and chips and usually a curry, but the rest of the menu changes daily. The drinks cost extra, but coffee is included, you can ask to go a little off menu if you really want something else, and they're usually quite accommodating. We really liked dining here, but we did try some of the others too. One of our favorites was the Olive Grove on deck six, which serves a Mediterranean style menu and is open from 5.30 p.m. to 9.30. They serve iconic favorites from the region like paella and Moroccan lamb tagine and grazing boards to share with friends and family. The menu change is weekly, and they say there's no dress code here, but everyone looked smart when we went, and there was certainly nobody wearing shorts or a football shirt. The chef's table is only available on black tie nights and is a small venue. They offer a unique menu created by Marco Pierre White with wine chosen by Ollie Smith, but you're really gonna need to book it, and you can do that from two weeks before your cruise starts. Could be ideal for a special occasion though. Now we come to the less formal options that many people traveling with children might prefer. Waiter service and dress code doesn't always suit you if you've got kids. And a lot of kids don't like fancy food, they just want food they recognize. And it's okay if you don't want to wear the full black tie and evening gown at all, because there's plenty of places to eat and Brodie's Bar for a drink where the dress code doesn't apply. We'll start at the Sixth Street Diner on deck six. This is in the style of a modern retro American diner with a jukebox and a menu of stateside favorites. They're open for breakfast and brunch from 10 a.m. until two and for dinner from 5.30 until 9.30. You'll get breakfast burritos, pancakes, waffles and nachos, jumbo shrimp and sticky pork ribs and plenty more besides. The atmosphere is lively and informal and it's well worth giving it a try. You can book any of these restaurants I've mentioned so far between 5.30 and 6 p.m. But after that, you have to queue using the My Holiday website or with a pager. Club dining, where you eat at an early or late sitting and have the same sitting at the same table every evening, is available on all P&O ships except Arvia and Iona, which have what's called Freedom Dining. And I've made another video about Freedom Dining and how to beat the queues. So why not check that one out after you've watched this one? Next, we've got the area known as the Keys on Deck 8, which P&O call a multi-venue dining piazza. It's open from 7 a.m. until 10 for breakfast and noon until 9.30 p.m. for all day dining. And there's a children's menu too at lunch and dinner. 
a tuck line and vinegar, there's fish and chips, etc. There's an Asian fusion option and your Sunday roast type meals, all wrapped up in a giant Yorkshire pudding. There's no booking here, you just turn up, find a seat and collect your food from the serving hatches. And again, it's very informal and great for families. There's a lovely selection of desserts, which are slightly tucked away around a corner, but they're easy enough to find if you have a look. Actually, if you just want a coffee and croissant for breakfast, this could be a lot quicker and easier than the main restaurants. And if you move along closer to where Sindhu and Ripples are, it's a bit calmer there to enjoy it. There's a couple more places to tell you about, but before I do, could I please ask that if you found this video at all helpful or interesting, could you please hit the subscribe button and allow notifications? Subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but it means you'll know when I post another video and it lets me know that you're enjoying the videos I've already done. So please subscribe. Thank you. Now, the next place to tell you about is Taste 360, which is on deck 16 under the Sky Dome. This is a street food style outlet with tables looking out to sea and they serve burgers and hot dogs and pizza. Very informal, very relaxed and open from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Actually, there's often a performance in the Sky Dome at 6.30, so you could enjoy that whilst eating your food. And the burger there is pretty good, better than the Sixth Street Diner. The best burger on the ship is at the Keel and Cow, in my opinion, but you have to pay extra for that. So that's going to be a video for another day. Last but definitely not least is the Horizon Buffet on Deck 16. It's huge and almost always open. So it's really popular with families who want the flexibility to turn up almost any time. And there's good news if you don't want to get up too early on your holiday because breakfast is served from 6.30 until 11 a.m. That's followed by lunch from noon until 5 p.m. Afternoon tea is 3 p.m. until 5. Children's tea on the starboard side is from 5 p.m. until 5.45. Dinner is 6 p.m. until 9.30 and late snacks are from 11 p.m. until 1.30 in the morning. They make you hot chocolate if you're having trouble sleeping after all that. And there's tea and coffee on tap, not Costa, all of the time. There's loads of choice in the buffet. You can be healthy with salads and fruit or you can pile your plate high. There are beautiful little desserts which are so small they surely can't contain many calories and you can take as many of them as you like just in case your calorie count for the day is a little low. Nobody cares what combination of foods are sharing your plate. There's plenty of seating available indoors and out. We love the buffet and had lunch there most days. If you're in port, you may be off the ship at lunchtime, but remember, there's nothing to stop you going ashore in the morning, getting back on the ship for lunch, and then going ashore again in the afternoon if you uh, want to save yourself the cost of buying lunch ashore. Remember that some of the opening times I've told you about today may change, especially on port days. Now, finally, here's my tip for those of you who like the sound of the formal dining in the main restaurants, but are afraid that the portion sizes might be a bit on the small side. Well, there's nothing to stop you ordering extra helpings. You can order an extra starter or dessert, or if you can't decide between the dessert or the cheese and biscuits, you can order both. And you can, if you like, order two mains. I saw a man order two plates of steak and chips, and after he'd eaten the first one, he simply swapped the two plates over and ate the second one straight after. Whoever you are, sir, I salute you. Wherever you dine on your cruise, I hope you have as great a holiday as we did. Thanks for watching this video, and why not check out one of my other videos next? And until next time, bon appétit!